Hey everyone, it's Adelaide Winterstep and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna have a fun time. We're gonna do a little bit of groundwork here in New Hillcrest and then we're gonna practice galloping out in the open fields with Margot. So Kensington is coming up in two weeks and I really wanted to work with Margot about being better um, out in the open. Since we're doing cross country, obviously you have to be out in the open and your horse has to be attentive while they're galloping to the next jump, obviously. So we recently went to Fir Grove and she was a little difficult to work with when we were just doing some free space um, stamina training and so we're hoping that we'll work on it today and that she'll be better after this but it's going to be just a lot of fun um, just to kind of practice and also train and get conditioned for Kensington. Make sure to check out the information down below in the description box um, for more information about Kensington and how you guys can be part of it as well. So let's get straight into this video and I hope you all enjoy. So clearly we're here in New Hillcrest but my outfit for for today is very simple. It's just a white polo shirt. I got these gray riding pants from a store in Governor's Fall and they're really great for just doing things outdoors and you know you're going to be doing a lot of work that day. I also have this really nice helmet from another store in Governor's Fall and my black competition gloves that I wear practically every day as well as my black riding boots. Margo is also pretty simple today. I just have a gray instructor saddle pad on. I also have these polo wraps with some, um, I think you call them like bell boots, cup boots. Everyone has a different name for them, but they're just these dark gray ones. And then I have light gray and white polo wraps. And then my black dressage saddle and black bridle. Since we're just doing groundwork today and no jumping, I actually like my dressage saddle since it's more comfortable. may have noticed several things right now. Firstly is that it's very early in the morning. I just want to notify you guys that um, it's early in the morning because lately Europe has had a huge heat like issue and so I like to start my things early in the morning and it's right at the prime time where it'll start lighting up soon but it's just perfect weather to do things like this um, especially activities that require a lot of um, strength and energy for my horses. I like them to do it in the cooler weather. And secondly, you may have noticed that New Hillcrest is definitely more of a city structure. And the reason that I chose this place is because there's lots of distractions with local city noises and things like that, which I think is great for Margot to start to learn about more. And then also secondly, it's nearby South Hoof, which is where we'll be galloping since it's a safer galloping area and has good footing. So that's kind of the main reasons why I chose this area instead of your typical arena area. So now we're actually going to go ahead and try out water for the first time. Um, Amelia, her previous owner, said that Margot has tried going into water before, but <laughs> to no avail very much. She's she, she's definitely a little more spooky around water, which is one of her major um, weaknesses. And at Kensington, there's going to be a couple water obstacles. So, you know, we just have to try to get her used to it before because I didn't know about this information beforehand. I thought that she had already done it and trained in going into, like, um, water ponds and stuff. So we're gonna try this out. We have a beach down below that's nice and shallow, so let's get straight to it. 
So clearly there's lots and lots of water here and getting her here we just had to try and avoid the water because she just seemed a little spooky. So we're going to try her out first by leading her into the water and then eventually we're going to get on and try it at different gates. So as you can tell, the training is actually going really great. She's doing really, really good. Um, she's really actually enjoying it. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to mount on and enjoy just kind of a day just trying to get her into this water. And then we'll finish off with our gallop. So we decided to just kind of go along the shoreline and see if she would follow along that. And she was great and everything. And then I think I got her a little too excited and she didn't like it. So yeah, I think we figured out the water. These next couple days, I'll continue to practice with her, but she's enjoying it more. If you guys are concerned that she's drinking the salt water, don't worry. This local area is actually sourced by a river, um, and so it's not until you get further out that the salt water. Yorifik has a really weird watering system, and so typically the Failedale, um <laughs> Silver Song River, I think it's called, sources the majority of the water. So the majority of this water is indeed fresh, and if there is any salt in it, it's in such minute levels that it's, perf that it's still safe for animals to drink. So we decided to come over here and try to see if we can do our gallop along the beach. The ground seems actually pretty solid. The sand isn't um, too deep or anything, and so I think we're going to do our gallop here. This is where we turn into a GoPro session, so you guys can see it from my point of view, and I hope you enjoyed this last part.
So thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this kind of doing something different. And um, please be prepared for the Kensington series. It's coming up in two weeks, but kind of one week for the start of the series of which I will be getting ready for the show. So remember to look in the description down below for the information about Kensington and how you guys can be a part of the show in some way or form. Make sure to check out all my platforms. I have a Silver Glide Equestrian website as well as an Instagram, and I also have a Yorvik Age magazine that I edit. All the links for that are down in the description below. If you're wondering what I use to make this video or the music that I'm using, also check the description. Thank you so much. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you all next time. Bye.